Given that the previous administration, you know, just battered them with pretty much everything it had, apart from war, um, what's left uh, in terms of the stick when you're, in, when you're entering these negotiations? What, 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 you know, what, what, what is left actually apart from war? What, it, what would Iran want out of it? Is no, that what you're saying, asking? No, what's the stick? You're coming with a carrot, right? Which is, you know, we'll bring you back in and so on. You dismantle all this stuff and, you know, we'll eventually give you sanctions relief. That's pretty clear. But they withstood the sanctions under the Trump administration. And, you know, they, they in fact only increased their activity in the nuclear. Well, if you, so if, you go back, if you go back historically just a few years before the Trump administration to the Obama-Biden administration, sanctions were put in place which incentivized, in many ways, getting them to the table to have the discussion about the joint plan of action. So, look, I would say at this point, uh, today's the first day of discussions. Uh, as you know, these discussions are happening uh, in Geneva, and uh, they are happening through our European counterparts and partners. We expect them to have difficult portions. We expect this to be a long process, uh, and we, uh, you know, continue to believe that a diplomatic path is the right path forward. Uh, and there are benefits to all sides. When the Trump administration pulled out of the joint plan of action, what they left us with is a, a far decreased visibility of Iran's nuclear capability. Uh, of what of of uh, inspections at their sites, uh, of an understanding of how close they were to acquiring a nuclear weapon. That's not in anyone's interest. Certainly not the American people.